I was in charge of economy class by myself in the back of the plane. Hey guys, it's Monday the 27th of December. I'm starting my last trip for this year. I'm gonna go on a four day trip today with layovers in Manchester and in Copenhagen, so UK and Denmark. First of all, I'm gonna go to Madrid, then I'm gonna go back to Munich, and then I am working the flight to Manchester, UK. And that's basically it for today. Since I'm taking the train to work this morning, I decided to not wear my uniform for the train ride. I'll only change into it once I get to base because this is just way warmer <laughs> and I don't want to bring my uniform coat because I never need it. And this way I have my coat with me. I'll just pack it into my suitcase once I get there and it'll save me space in my suitcase basically. Let's go! I made it to Munich and just got changed. Sorry about the audio quality in here. I think my voice sounds pretty hollow, but whatever. So I just got changed and am ready for my flights. I still have over an hour before I have to go to my briefing room. The flight to Madrid will take about two and a half hours and then the flight back will take the same amount of time, obviously. And then the flight to Manchester should take around like one and a half hours, something like that. So it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> briefing starts at 1.30 p.m. and I I think I should get done sometime past midnight German time. So I think we are supposed to land at like 11.15 p.m. UK time, which means it's gonna be um, quarter past midnight German time. So yeah, it's gonna be a long day, but hey, that's totally fine. <laughs> took me around two hours and 20 minutes to get here. And then it also took me 20 minutes to walk over to the train station, which by the way, in case you don't know, like here, so that you don't slip in winter time, they always put pebbles on like streets and sidewalks. Think about that in two suitcases. That was not too fun today, but hey, I'm learning. <laughs> I noticed that in other countries, for instance, in Canada and Toronto, they didn't do that. But then again, like the sidewalk was really slippery, so I think I prefer it the way they do it here. But yeah, not too fun with two suitcases. Anyways, I'm gonna go, um, obviously put my mask on. I'm in a small confined space, so yeah. As soon as I step out of here, I'm gonna put it back on and then head on over to the crew room. I made it to Manchester. So this is my first time here. I have worked this flight before, but only as a turn. I have never had a layover here, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna go sightseeing for a little bit tomorrow. I've got the day off here tomorrow, so I'll be leaving on um, Wednesday really early in the morning. So technically it is already Tuesday. It's currently five past midnight. So yeah, at home it's 1.05 a.m. I'm tired. I really need some sleep. The flights today were amazing. My passengers were so nice. I worked the three left position on every single flight and they all were in compliance with our mask mandate. And also like, it was so nice to talk to people and I really enjoy working in economy class. And what I also wanted to mention is that my crew was absolutely amazing. So yeah, this was a really good work day. And somehow on like the first two flights, I had two different coworkers in the back and both of them were Austrian. So we had like the best time back there, just like talking in our dialect. And that was just really cool. Like once service was done obviously not during service so my room here is amazing this is one of the best rooms i've seen on short haul or generally so far i'm gonna show you in a minute i'm just like i can't wait to see the view in the morning like i told you guys it's after midnight and at home it's after one and oh my god i just put my eye drops in like my eyes i told you guys like my eyes they start hurting because i have like really dry skin and really dry eyes so that was the first thing i did when i got here so let's start with the bathroom there's a really nice bathtub and shower i like the sink and a toilet's kind of hidden but who cares there is a full-size mirror 
So that's my uniform. And then the bed's like a queen size bed, I think. I like the chair and like look at that window. I don't think you can see too much right now, but I think it's gonna be beautiful in the morning. So I just saw they have free hot chocolate and free biscuit cookies. It's Tuesday. I spent most of my morning editing videos because it's very gloomy outside. And while I did bring an umbrella, I didn't feel like walking and really soaking wet rain outside. And it cleared up a little bit. It's still very cloudy and overcast and it still looks gloomy. However, I think the rain just stopped. So I think I can actually go outside for a walk right now. I need to get dressed first though. I'm still in my PJs. <laughs> it is 12.30 p.m. So this should give me plenty of time for like a walk, maybe like a two hour walk or something. I don't know how cold it is, so we'll see. So this is the view. I feel like it looks a little more gray in real life than it does on camera, but it's a really nice view. Let's go for a little walk. <laughs> I just got back from my walk. Manchester is such a nice town. I hope I'll get to explore the city more when the weather is better and when the virus infection numbers aren't skyrocketing like they are right now. So I personally don't really feel comfortable if there are a lot of people around and none of them keep their distance and nobody wears a mask or anything. So I was wearing my N95 mask, so that's my personal choice. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the UK. I just love visiting cities around the UK and the people are really nice and all of that. I just don't necessarily agree with the current measures that are taken against the spread of the virus, but those are my views. So whatever your views are, are totally fine. My situation is my situation and other people might be in a different situation where they aren't risking a family member's life who can't get the vaccine. So yeah, that's just why I'm really cautious and why I didn't want to walk around town any longer. Um, I do have to say though that I was in the elevator and someone asked if they could come on to the same elevator and they offered to put their masks on. So technically there is a mask requirement inside of this hotel. So I don't get why someone's not wearing their mask in the first place, but at least they put it on when they came onto the elevator after asking me if they can come on when they put their mask on. But it's like, if it says that you have to wear a mask, just wear your mask, it's not that hard. Anyways, I'm just glad that I have my N95 masks with me to protect myself as well as others. Like I said, this is a really nice town and I wish things were different, but we're still in the middle of a pandemic and let's hope that it's gonna come to an end soon so that regular layovers where we're just walking around town without any masks and going to restaurants and that kind of stuff is possible again. I do miss those times. <laughs> It's Wednesday, currently it is 4 a.m. So yeah, it's pretty early. <laughs> I'm ready to head downstairs to meet the rest of the crew in order to head on over to the airport. Today I have two flights. So first of all, we're going back to Munich. Then we're doing a COVID test there. That's um, the law currently with UK flights. And once we have the results of the, it's like a rapid PCR test, once we have those, we are allowed to start boarding for the next flight. We are going to Copenhagen, which is where I'm gonna have my layover tonight. 
So I expect the flight to Munich to be around maybe an hour and 45 minutes long, something like that. And then the flight to Copenhagen is probably like an hour and a half or a little less than that. So let's go. Oh, by the way, we're gonna be on our A319 today. So some people call it the baby bus because it's such a small plane. I feel like that name is really cute. And I will probably be working the three left position once again. So I'll be working in the back of the plane and my responsibility will be to take care of everyone in economy class. I made it to Copenhagen, Denmark. It is currently 2 p.m. so I have a little over 14 hours here. I don't actually know this hotel or the area. We used to stay in a different hotel in a different area of Copenhagen so I guess I'll go outside for a little walk. The infection numbers are pretty high here as well. For Germany it's not a virus mutation area but for Austria it is so I'm not planning on going indoors anywhere and yeah. So that's just my way of ensuring that I am as safe as possible. So recapping today, um, we started our trip with the A319 from Manchester to Munich. I was working the three left position, which means I was in charge of economy class by myself in the back of the plane. And then in Munich, we went to the testing center because after UK layover, currently you have to get tested before you can start boarding your next flight. So we went back to the plane. We actually got switched to a different plane. So originally we had been scheduled to work the trip with our A319, but it got changed to an A321. So we got an additional crew member and we prepped the plane and stuff and waited for our test results because it had to be there before boarding could start. Obviously it makes sense. And then we flew all the way to Copenhagen. It took us an hour and 20 minutes, which is not bad at all. We got here right on time. We went on a bus that took us to the hotel and now here I am. I'm really hungry so I'm gonna make some lunch and then well, I still have some tortellini with me and some ramen and I have enough food for like today and tomorrow so and then I'm gonna go for a little walk. This hotel is really pretty so here we have tea and coffee making facilities and look at those glasses. Aren't they like really pretty? Kind of look like crystal glasses. And then Let's actually check out the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so, um, interesting, like this sign, it's kind of like a chessboard. It's a little, it's a lot to take in. There's a shower, it's like everywhere. Those tiles are literally everywhere in the bathroom. So it wouldn't be my first choice if I was gonna uh, design a bathroom. Here I am, <laughs> and then here is the bed. I kind of like the mirror up there. It's cool, it's like round and there's a lot of art back there. And then the TV is huge, but check this out. Isn't this cool? Let's see if there's anything inside. Oh, there are bathrobes in there and slippers. How cool. And then I really like those chairs as well. The view is, well, there's not much to see here. I'm on my walk now, so I made it to this area of town. The weather isn't great, but I wanted to get some fresh air. Oh look, it's frozen. I didn't even realize. Yeah, there are frozen parts. I'm back from my walk. I had a really nice walk, but the weather wasn't too great and it was kind of cold, so I kept my walk short. And again, same thing as yesterday. In the beginning it was a little crowded, but then I found some areas that weren't as crowded. So in a crowded areas, I obviously wore my N95 or FFP2 mask. And the not so crowded areas, I was happy to finally take the mask off. But yeah, that's just how I roll in those kind of scenarios. So I thought about maybe editing another video. I still haven't edited my 
Toronto vlog, but honestly, I don't feel like it. I got up at like 3 a.m. That's when my alarm clock went off. So instead of that, I think I'm gonna call it a night soon. I mean, I have to go to bed at 7 p.m. anyways, because tomorrow I'll have to get up again at 3 a.m. And this time it's even an hour earlier because in Manchester, there was a one hour time difference, but here there isn't, so. Yeah, I think instead of editing a video tonight, I'm gonna watch some Netflix, I'm gonna take a relaxing shower, and I'm gonna make some food. I'm gonna show you what I brought on this trip. Like I already had some food yesterday, obviously. I already ate some fruit and stuff on a plane, so I'm definitely getting my greens, but I packed the not so healthy stuff this time. Usually I prepare food at home, I like meal prep and stuff, but for this trip, I just didn't have time with Christmas and all that. I didn't want to cook after spending the day with Mari's parents. So I just brought, you could probably call it fast food. Because <laughs> it's going to be done really quickly. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you what I brought. This is not sponsored in case you haven't realized that yet. I still have some tortellini. Usually you cook them, but honestly, if you put them in a bowl of boiling water and let them soak in there for longer, I usually drain them and then pour some more boiling water on top of them. That cooks them. That works with basically any kind of pasta. Then I still have some ramen and then I also have some potato soup. I still have two of those like cup noodle thingies, but not with ramen noodles. I have some of uh, spaghetti and it's, I think it's cream sauce. And the other one is with broccoli and cheese sauce. But I wanna save those for tomorrow for the plane. Good morning, it's currently 4 a.m. Today is go home day, so it's Thursday. And I will have three flights today. So first of all, we're going back to Munich and then I'm gonna be working at Rome, Italy turn. And that's gonna be it. So I think I should be done at like 1 p.m. today. Yay! Then I'm taking the train home and then I'm gonna be off for two days and then I have another five day trip. So about today, all of our flights will be operated with our Airbus 320 and it's gonna be the seal version of the plane. The crew will stay the same, but we have one additional crew member that, that headed with us to Copenhagen yesterday. I'm done with work for this year, so let's go home for New Year's.